All right, now we're taking our roof plan, we're gonna turn it into an elevation. So you should have your shack roof plan open, and all you need to do here is just do a save as. We're gonna save on top of it, or a different one I should say, not on top of it. We're gonna have our shack elevations. There we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create like a north, south, east, and west view looking at this from the front of the house. Uh, so before I start making my front of the house down here and like kind of projecting this down, kind of like a multi-view, I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to bring it over, and I'm going to rotate it in that direction. And just to make it look a little cleaner, I'm going to move this up just so it's lined up with this. So now I'm going to go into, what I'm going to do is project all these lines down the walls and the roof and my windows and doors. I'll get to those. That'll be the last step. Uh, but so yeah, basically we're treating this like a multi-view projection. We have to put together a front view based on looking at this and just kind of knowing some of our, some of our other uh, just kind of guidelines about drawing a house. So I'm going to go from the out, outermost edge, the corner of the house. I'm just going to go down about this far, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go my full width of the house again. I'm just going to, I should just, yeah, I'm just going to connect it. Okay. I'm also going to project down the inside wall as well. Let's go all the way down to the bottom perpendicular. There and there. Okay, so now I have the outer edge of the wall. Now I need to set up where the roof is going to stop. And typically, that's about 9 feet. So I'm going to offset this up 9 feet. All right, and that's going to be the bottom of our fascia, the bottom of the roof. And while I'm at it, I'm going to select this, and our overhang for this roof is one foot. I'm going to grab this grip, go to the right, and just put in one foot, 12 inches, both sides. So now I have somewhere to snap to for the edge of my roof here. All right. And then, let's see, now I'm also going to offset this bottom line up here. This is for a foundation. I offset that up 8 inches. Sorry. Oop, what did I miss here? Let me just do that one over. Sorry. Offset 8 inches. Go this one up. There we go. Okay, so if you missed any of that, this was extended out 12 inches or 1 foot. And then this was offset up 8 inches. Okay, now I'm going to start to trim. I don't need any of this stuff anymore. And I want to cut this out, kind of like the inside of our floor plan. Why can I get this? Trim, enter, enter. There we go. You while you want to cut off all of our intersecting lines. Alright, so this represents the thickness of our wall. And this is going to be our foundation down here. And now we need to figure out the height for this. We don't know how tall this roof is. Well, there is some math we could do to probably figure it out, but the easiest way here is to now start drawing uh, the front view, or I'm sorry, the, what is this going to be, south or west view of this house. So I'm going to project the bottom of this over. That's where that's going to start. Project down the edges of the house and also the inside of the wall. Okay. And then I'm also going to project over where a roof is going to be ending. And then the edges of your roof, we can just project that down. Make sure that's on perpendicular. Okay. So now this is where a gable is going to be. Uh, we're going to have a triangle shape on this side. And the way we would do this, we have different pitches of the roof. And you might have heard something like a 512, 612. So we're going to actually have a 612 roof here. And what that means, we need to figure out the angle for this, uh, for our line here. And that's going to be based on a degree. All right, so we're not just going to guess and see how tall it is. Say we have a 512. I'm sorry, we're doing a 612. So I'm going to go up. It's rise over run. So every 6 inches 
up, it is 12 inches for my run. And then I'm just going to connect this line back here. So what it did is I created an angle for my roof. Oops, not that. So I'm going to measure this with angular. So from here to here, we have 27 degrees. So that's going to mean my pitch, my XL angle of 27 degrees. Sorry for that weird glitch. Before I do that 27 angle of 27 degrees, I need to create somewhere to snap it to. Uh, so we have the bottom of our fascia. We need to offset that up 8 inches over here in my other view. I already guess you had done that there. I'm going to drag this over all the way through. There we go. So now that is where my XL angle of 27 degrees is going to snap to. And I can do XL angle minus 27 for my opposite side. And that's how that should look. Okay, so we have a little bit of a mess here. Uh, so I'm going to start doing some trimming. So let's see, I'm going to trim from here. Oops. I can just delete this stuff out of the top. Yes, I know I'm doing this fast. This part you're just going to kind of have to figure out for that part of trimming. Okay. So since this part is going to be uh, the angle, the triangle, I need to offset these 8 inches from my fascia. And then therefore, I can get rid of that. Yep. And I'm going to do some more trimming. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Trimming out this part. Alright, so I know that was probably a little confusing, so I'll just leave this up here. And go ahead and pause the video right now at this point so you can get this trimming part on your own then. Alright, so after you have paused and you've watched this part, got this all trimmed out nicely like this, what we can do, we created a top for my front view here, my south view. So just make sure those are lined up. Now I can go ahead and trim this up over on this side. There we go. All right, we're going to need that later, so I'm going to delete it for now. We need that for a root plan. All right, uh, we're also going to create a our north and our east views as well. But I'm going to stop at this point, so this is just to get you started, and then we will see you in the next video.